Oh my glob. Adventure Time Distant Lands looks even better than I anticipated. The full-length trailer for the first special of this miniseries has been released, and with it, I had to go back and rewatch some classic episodes. The art style and animation have gotten a massive upgrade. The new buddy character has potential for a memorable story, and overall, I didn't know how excited I'd be to return to this world. So as always, let's run through the trailer and take a look at just what the heck Distant Lands is. And spoiler warning, in case you don't want to know anything about Distant Lands, and you already had enough context from the trailer, you don't need some guy on the internet trying to piece it all together. With all that said, let's dive in. It appears Distant Lands is for Adventure Time what Steve Universe Future was to that franchise, a limited series dedicated to setting off the beloved characters and world of Adventure Time. Alongside this first special, BMO, we have Obsidian, a Princess Bubblegum and Marceline adventure, Wizard City, a Peppermint Butler episode that I'd argue is going to end up doubling as a Simon episode, and Together Again. Again, a classic Finn and Jake adventure. The title Distant Lands isn't just a play on the theme song either, as each special is a journey to a brand new destination. This first one, BMO being centered on space, taking place on a distant multi-domed alien world that, judging by this name being plastered everywhere, might be titled Hugo, or incorporate the name Hugo somewhere in its title, which could be an homage to Adventure Time veteran Hugo Morales, who worked on the series very early on. Perhaps this could be a nod to the roots of Adventure Time as they return for one last hurrah. In this atmospheric shot of the city, we can actually spot Sheriff Bimo with their new bunny pal and green shape-shifting hat-presenting friend. I'm kind of hoping this could be a Samurai jack as Silence's golden travel montage, where we just experience this little trek alongside the characters or being presented as a part of a song. Either way, I think it could be montage or it could just be a shot that I shouldn't overthink. Next up in this shot of a space forest, we have a butterfly-esque creature who reminds me of one of Gold's mutated spawns and come along with me. Considering the shape of the eyes and the tail and mouth, I doubt this is coincidental, but rather a possible connection or hint at Golb's fate, after Betty fused with Golb in the original series finale. After all, her wish was to keep Simon safe. This is the only special we know is explicitly set in space, so perhaps we can get an answer here on what exactly happened to them, as I imagine being millions of miles away in space qualifies as keeping Simon safe. And it could be the reason as to why Bimo was brought to this alien planet. After all, Bimo did figure out Golb's big weakness through singing, though I'd argue that this special in one way or another is going to tie back Bimo's creator, Mo, whom Bimo launched into space at the end of Come Along With Me. We have two distinct species at a standoff, the more generic Martian crossed a vampire on the offense to one side, with a shielded, armor, almost bug-like species on the defense occupying the other side. And at the top center, we can spot our bunny friend hanging upside down, and from what I'm seeing, it looks like they're speaking into a communication device, so I imagine they're spying in on the tension and potentially gathering intel. This takes us to one shot of a long-haired pale alien, who I assume is high-ranking with that hairdo, and another shot of a red alien with a distinct fin, revealing a load of green objects all over his back, which I'm assuming are more or less grenades. Bunny's cover is assumably blown, as they're seen hopping away from danger, having both species pursue them when Bimo suddenly crash lands into the surface. Judging by the crying red alien and the WTF expressions on the others, I assume Bimo's arrival came as some unexpected bloodshed that Bimo ironically overlooks, due to the relief of their own survival, although an arm has been severed. Alright, whose best friend, family relative, or love interest did you just squash, Bimo? A windstorm or some strong force begins to sweep everyone off their feet. Notice that the shape-shifting alien is wrapped around a rock, while Bimo shoots a sticky toothpaste as substance that'll likely stick and sling them to safety like Spider-Man. Something else worth noting is the star maps in the sky, if they don't serve a simple purpose of just looking cool, there's likely some tasty lore waiting to be uncovered. We see Bimo and their new crew travel through the forest like area, alongside an alley-like hallway, passing by other inhabitants of the planet, going off their troubled expressions, the planet itself is likely on the brink of collapse, as stated later in the trailer, citizens evacuating while Bimo runs towards the problem. We also see the sky flicker in what appears to be a street market, with a cameo from Voidcaster, whom was once possessed by the Lich after being in prison for cosmic crimes, but after Finn defeated the Lich, all those under his control regained their own sentience. Voidcaster using his portal powers to help Finn's father, Martin, flee alongside others in the episode Escape from the Citadel. Another cameo, at least somewhat, is the round-headed civilian in patterned clothes who strikes a strong resemblance to Cuber and Tuber. Now, the core correlation is unknown, but at the very least, this is a member of the same species. And it makes sense that as we venture out into space, we would see more of the other species we didn't really get to see too much of in the original series proper, or any relatives, any hints of where they originate from. Bimo takes on the duty to save this distant land, becoming a hero that's plastered all over the screens throughout the city, taking on the mantle of Sheriff Bimo, 
well with his deputy bunny. Okay, I need a name because just referring to them as bunny feels kind of, uh, demeaning. It appears this trio will travel through each pod that this planet is comprised of, or at least a few of them, uncovering what is causing this apocalyptic event, each pod sporting a different terrain or civilization. That could explain all these different species. Maybe each belong to a different pod, but they intermingle. No big deal. And now they seem to be beefing in a little turf war. Considering the silent green alien can shapeshift, and this bunny seems to be forcing themselves into danger per Bimo's encouragement, alongside interactions with just Bimo rushing towards the screaming, but the bunny remarking, that's not what I do. It's not hard to believe that Bimo sees Finn and Jake in these two. And going up the synopsis of Together Again, it's going to be a while since Finn and Jake have been on an adventure. The last time likely being when they banded together with the rest of Boo to banish gold. You guys remember when they were gonna like fight a war and then that was a fake out, but we had all those cool one-off characters return? I remember. Still, Bimo misses their friends, so they project onto these two new strangers. However, Bimo is going to have to accept change, and not forcing other people to be someone they aren't. Gravity is falling as the planet begins to collapse. Bimo makes contact with a dangerous acidic green substance, and we get a look at what appears to be the bunny's family, or at least members of the same species, but I'd be very surprised if there's no relation considering they're the same color, and we see different colored bunnies later on in the trailer. Not only do they appear to live underground, a play on the old rabbit hole trope, and on that note, please subscribe to my own rabbit hole. More videos coming soon, I promise. But I wonder if they'll have an opposition to the whole adventure angle that makes up adventure time, creating complications with people's vision of the perfect save the world adventure and team. Bun has to chop something inside a blue glowing dome, Bimo finds himself caught between their hands stuck underneath a door, and being pulled by what I assume is going to be one of those gold-like creatures, perhaps tentacle branches? We shall see. I assume Bimo's new adventure buddies are on the other side of the door, pulling Bimo to safety. Fireworks are lit under asses, Bimo rides on his new companion towards adventure, we have another snippet of Bimo's arrival, seemingly ceasing tension between the two alien species from the beginning of the trailer, as they all begin to cheer in unison, likely fired up with a plan to save their own home planet, or at least a plan they believe Bimo has. Bah, come on, we all know Bimo, they're gonna wing it. And after a few more ambiguous shots, we have a close-up of Bunny out of breath and clearly distressed. Again, this could tie back into the whole Bimo trying to force strangers to be someone they're not angle, if that comes to fruition. They're overwhelmed, out of their element, and here comes Bimo encouraging this person to be more like Finn and Jake, when they don't even know who that is. And if this plot point does come to pass, it'd be a great way for Distant Lands to begin, with a Bimo adventure that also sets up the final special by constantly alluding towards Finn and Jake, yet we don't get those sweet boys return until the very end. Ah, we won't see Finn and Jake in this glorious new revamp style until 2021, unless they make a cameo in one of the other specials, which I would also believe. There's a comical close-up of Bimo screaming, complete with eye whites. I'm assuming this is either a tribute sequence from either like the middle or climax, or just a scene of Bimo's crash landing. We also have Bimo tinkering something inside of a structure, including the trailer with them riding off into the sky on a space lard, a species which was first introduced in the episode Astral Plane. All the space lore is coming in full force. And yeah, if you look here, we get a look at all the alien races we've seen throughout the trailer. So again, we can assume one pod belongs to these weird bug, fish, red, alien-like creatures, then the Martian vampires, as I call them, and another pod likely features the bunnies. But whatever the case may be, whatever supernatural occurrence is disturbing the planet, which again, I'm pretty sure will tie into something from the original series, whether it be Gold or Mo, I can't wait to see how it's all resolved. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. What do you think? How do you feel about Adventure Time Distant Lands? And this Beemo special in particular? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RindableVids, and for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Ultra Thoughts. and if you want to stay in the loop of all new Distant Lands, and even a full-length breakdown for when it comes out, I'm rewatching the entire series in preparation, please be sure to subscribe with the notification bell on, and if you enjoyed this video, please throw it a like. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. See ya!